Hey everyone, Silcat2 here. Welcome back to more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, we did some stuff in World 3 Area 2. And I think that's about it. Um, in this episode, we are going to be fighting a whole bunch of versions of 2 and 3 navvies in a row, so... Well, brace yourself. Anyway, first up is Toadman. We can fight him by talking to Ribita here. I think we've already seen what Toadman can do, but... Well, we are going to fight him again, just so we can get his version 3 chip. Oof. It'd be nice if I could get Gateman to show up. Or... Gator, rather. But, whatever. Ah. This ain't good. Well, this is a bit embarrassing. I'm gonna lose this fight, huh? Oh, or not. Well, we got the Toadman 2 chip. That's good. Okay, just gonna play defensive that right now. Until we get the program advance we need. This is where shield styles can come in handy. Yep, Toadman 3. Another bad take. Alright, we've already done Gateman several times, in fact, so let's move on to something else. We've also already done Gutsman, so... Next up, we are going to be going to Natopia. If you remember, Mr. Match is waiting for us in the airport. So we might as well take him on as well. And for some reason, we are only on version 2 of this guy, so... Well, looks like we'll be doing stuff. <laughs> okay, that guy's taken care of with a busting level of S. Now, Heatman version 3. I missed. Go figure. Oops. Okay, well, he's not going down with an S rank anytime soon, is he? Oops. Okay, consider that an outtake. <laughs> uh, but we did get the version 2 chip, that's good. Version 2 chips are always harder to get than version 3 chips, because you gotta get hit a couple times, but not too many times. might take a while. Start with a properly applied gator. Oops.
And that takes care of him. We didn't get a busting level of S, though. Come on. Oh, you missed! <laughs> there we go. I'm burned out. Okay, next up, Natopia to take on Proto Man and Snake Man. Snake Man is going to be a little hard to deal with because he's always in the back row, so Life Sword won't work too well on him. But Proto Man... Sure, I was getting tired of fighting amateurs. Well, Proto Man is going to be pretty easy despite his insane amount of HP. Just keep dodging his sword attacks. He has a pretty predictable pattern. He'll use a Shockwave Sword and then he'll rush in and try a fighter sword or hero sword or whatever when he does that that's your chance to rush in and life sword him <coughs> oops yeah sometimes he'll attack twice in a row like that or something I guess Anyway, one hit isn't going to stop us from getting at least his version 2 chip. One life sword and one gator is all it takes to take care of him. Hmm. Could it be stronger than I suspected? You bet I'm stronger! Oh, Thunderman too, I forgot him. Let's go, Thunderman two. The clouds are the most annoying part of this fight. Just try to stay out of their way though and you should be fine. Again, since he's always in the back row, uh, Life Sword isn't going to be very useful here. And make sure you have a clear shot when you try to use Gator. Otherwise, it could be trouble. But anyway, we got Thunderman 2. The second defeat means more than the first. Oops. I'm being stupid here. Why am I being stupid? Act, I got hit.
Okay, we got his for Could you be the avatar of my clan's legend? Huh. <laughs> Never knew he said that. Uh... Checking to see if we don't have his version 2 chip yet, and we haven't taken him out with an S rank, so I'm going to do that. Got him. Okay, let's keep going. Next up, Snake Man. And I believe that's all of the net battles we need to do against people. Next up, we'll be tracking Ghost Navvies. Okay, what? Okay, what, 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 what? That was a little embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Got him. And that was a busting level of nine.
There we go. S. And with that, it's time to end off this episode. See you guys later.